April Laurie Blackburn and it's Natural Landworks. We have right now we have the the 150 which is a you know the the smallest mulcher they make for the skid steer and it it really works for for what we do with it here just maintaining our property and and doing some side business and all with it we're looking at getting a little bit larger skid steer to run with it uh you know about a little over 100 horsepower rather than this one is 75. so we're looking at upgrading to a little bit better machine we'll be able to keep the same head and it'll just perform better you know once once we get a bigger machine to run it with so so that's what we've got This combination with this machine and this head, one thing I like is it's lightweight. It's, you don't need a huge truck to tow it around. I can get in small areas that some of the bigger machines can't get in. And because, you know, I'm right on the edge of town, sometimes I can get into places and get into smaller lots and things that, that a big machine just can't get into. Um, it has enough power to do anything I've wanted to do so far. It's not gonna do it as fast as a big machine, but it's, it's just a trade-off. You know, it's like I said, I can, I can go into to small places and, and work in, in between where they wanna keep a lot of the larger trees. I can get in between those and work my way around and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Company-wise, it's just me. Um, I have two other people that can work for me here and there when I need them. But the nice thing about, since I switched over from, uh, from a bush hog type head for the machine, I, don't, I can run everything myself, do everything myself. I don't have to have anyone else, kind of like a one woman show <laughs> for the small jobs. But if I run into bigger jobs and things, I have other people I'll call in you know, here and there, but mainly I'm able to do everything on my own. <laughs> This area is swampy, <laughs> best I can describe it, which is a nice thing about having a small machine. Um, it allows you to get into places that, you know, have, I have the wider tracks on my machine, so I can get into places that tractors might get bogged down, get stuck in the mud. I can also get under a lot of the oak trees, have a lot of low limbs people like to keep, cause, you know, because they're, they're beautiful oak trees and all that but um, with this I, we used to run tractors with bush hogs and with this one we found we can get in places we can't get in with the tractors and we can it'll with the tracks it'll really float it's not a terribly heavy machine so I can get into a lot of small places that bigger heavier equipment can't get into knives versus carbides the knives work better here because we have a lot of softwood and we deal with a lot of palmettos and a lot of vines and a lot of stuff like that where the others would get tangled and, and cause a problem wrapping around the drum. As long as I keep my knives nice and sharp, I cut through rather than, than get it twisted up. I'm new to it, so I've only got probably probably 45 or 50 hours on these so far. Um, I sharpen once to twice a day, depending on how many hours I'm actually running the mulcher. Um, but I've noticed they're holding up really well. I mean, I can see that I'm starting to wear them down a little bit, um, but for the amount of time I have on them, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> right. Most calls I get or people either that have had property they've just let sit for a long time, they're finally ready to use it, they wanna clear out a spot and put in a home, um, they realize they haven't bush hogged, they haven't maintained it in several years, it's just a little, they can't handle it with, you know, a mower. <laughs> so that, that's mostly the type, like, type of calls I get. It helps a lot where I've run both. Before this, I had a, a mower bush hog type of head um, where when I went in and did that 
with that type of head, it left a lot of limbs, it left a lot of tree trunks, it left a lot of material behind that you then had to come in and pick it up. So that either, you know, they had to hire me to bring in a couple extra people, go back, pick all that stuff up, pile it up, then they had to burn it or haul it off. Or a lot of people want to do it on their own, but that still leaves a lot of manual labor for them to deal with. So with this, I can come in, mulch it down, and we're done. <laughs> mm. I did a tree stump over there that was about that size and about that high. And, you know, it's as long as you don't... As long as you pay attention to what you're doing, you can pretty much do anything. You just have to work at it. Gradual. Don't push it. Don't push the machine harder. <laughs> the machine usually seems to be the limiting factor rather than the head. Don't overwork the machine. But you, if you've got, you know, if, if you're careful about what you're doing and you just work at it little by little until you've got it, you know, mulched down, you can pretty much do whatever you want. <laughs>